Hey, what's up, MD? This is Christopher Vila. I'm um, here at the uh, East Coast Mecca, Beth Francis Powerhouse. Um, today, filming a little bit of back and um, buys. Uh, pretty much uh, what I've been doing is I've been trying to work more on my back to give it more detail because um, pretty much uh, I talked to a lot of judges and they pretty much told me that, you know, that's a little focal point I need to work on. It's like my lower back, just tighten it up a little bit. So I've been trying to get more back into my workout at least twice a week. Usually I start off with like some sort of calisthenic, whether it's pull-ups, push-ups, just to get like the blood flowing, doing my own body weight, uh, focus a lot more tension on that area. The low pulley um, really gets me going. Um, it really puts a lot of tension on my lower back. That's why I actually use the long, the long bar instead of like the close uh, V grip or any of those other close uh, handle grips. Because um, I want to keep it wide, so that when I bring it in, as I squeeze it, it squeezes more on my lower back and my midsection. The pull down machine actually um, I started using it because of um, my my great friend he also trains me every once in a while John De La Rosa he's also um, an MHP athlete with me um, he pretty much once I came here he showed me how to use that machine how to really focus on my lats because um, he said you know if I brought it out my V taper with uh, my lats that could also give the illusion in my lower back to tighten it up as well so every time I come here I just really go in on that machine. Most of the machines I do use at the gym I currently train at, but there is, uh, like I mentioned to you, there's a few machines here that I like that are really, really hit the back very well. You can feel like the total isolation. You can really feel like it's squeezing the, the certain areas, like the lats on the lower back a lot better here. So I make sure every time I come out to Beth Francis that I usually use those machines that I can't really use back at home. That's something I started doing more often as well now. Um, actually, I learned that as well from John. Um, it's just something different. I'm um, so used to doing either singles or just um, doubles, but um, usually um, when I do the single, single, double, I, you really feel like the back tightening up a lot better, especially with a lot, I put less weight as I get closer to the show and I just do a lot more repetition as you saw at the 10, 10, and 10. So that's like 30 repetitions for four sets. So it's really, really like getting that blood flowing. So, you know, I really like the, the feel of it afterwards. Form is very important to me because, you know, as time went on, like, I, I didn't, has anybody ever started in fitness? My first two years training, um, I would just go in like anybody else, like, oh, let me just, I could lift this, I could do this. But as time goes on, you learn as your dieting property because, you know, that's the main factor in this whole thing is never neglect the nutrition. But I learned that me doing a lot less weight and a proper form with more repetition actually gets me better results than trying to lift triple the amount and at a lot less repetition and not a proper form. So I can't stress enough how much form is important to me. Um, I learn as time goes on. I even have people like John that train me. Sometimes they even find a flaw in my, in my form and they're like, well, we'll do this. And then they're like, you feel the difference. So I always keep that in the back of my mindset where I'm doing concentrations, I'm doing some sort of back routine. I remember he told me like, arch my back like this, come a little, a little bit forward. Cause you'll feel the difference. People don't understand that, but you do feel a big difference once form plays a big key into your workout. I actually like, even though I'm like drained and stuff like that, I still do deadlifts, but um, I keep it a, a very light weight. As you saw, I just did 245s on it. Um, I 
like I said, like the judges I talked to, like I talked to Steve before, uh, I talked to um, John, Victor, I get a lot of advice from pros. You know, they just keep saying that I had to keep working on the lower part of my back to tighten it up. So pretty much like as close to the arms, as it gets close to the show, I actually usually hit deadlifts or um, hyperextensions or any type of lower back machine to uh, every other day, like uh, two weeks out from a show. Like I usually complement that with abs or like, like I just did today with some arms, you know, I, that's one area I pretty much hit every other day. I'm not even supposed to be hitting arms like that because my arms get so big, like closer to the show, and that's one thing. I also got feedback from a lot of people that they said my last year that my arms look very overpowering on stage to my physique. Like Steve likes the package I've been bringing, but he's just told me to tone it down a bit. So, like as you saw today, I only did three arm workouts. So I just make sure I get a good pump. I concentrate on it. Um, I try to bring it back down slow. I play with a lot of negatives. So it's just pretty much, you know what I think will probably be best for me as time goes on. Like right now, I only hit arms like once, maybe twice a week, if lucky. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I just make sure I just play with the light weights and I just make sure I play with the negatives. Oh God. Right now, like I told you, I'm on one card meal a day because um, I just came off from the Baltimore um, Gladiator Classics show. Um, I had obviously a quick cheat meal. Um, well, it's pretty much a clean cheat because I can't really have a dirty cheat because I'll just explode. Um, right now, like, obviously after doing the deadlifts and stuff like that, at a, even the light weight that I did, you know, it drains you because, you know, you need to get your body from some sort of energy like carbs or fats. And right now, I'm pretty much relying on the fats that I'm intaking. So, you know, like... I, I feel good and once in the morning gets after I have that first meal of oatmeal or whatever it is, but as time goes on, as I'm getting closer, I'm like, what, 12 days out? Like, you know, it plays a big key and it starts to drag you throughout the day. So, you know, I just make sure I just handle it the best way I possibly can. I never actually done the Mets before. I started my career in competing with the Atlantic States, and I will never forget that that memory competing in your hometown with all your friends and family involved. So pretty much the goal is to go in the Metropolitans, kill my class first, and then obviously go for that overall. That's the main goal. That's my top priority right now. I have nothing else in my mind but that. Well, obviously, I want to first really, really thank and um, show the most love to my wife. Um, we just got married in January. She's also a bikini competitor. Um, I never realized how much easier it would be to have somebody by your side to um, help you during the prep, because that definitely takes a lot of stress over your shoulder. Um, I can't thank MHP more than enough. I just signed with them. Um, They've been nothing but great supporter, great help. Um, Adam, um, John, Victor, they're great guys, great mentors, they're like family to me. Um, and obviously, last but not leastly, P28. Um, can't thank the bread man enough, Mr. William Sullivan. He's also been like, the past few years, he's just been nonstop support. Like, so, uh, all I can see him is every time I step off stage, he's like, don't worry, we got the next one. We got the next one. The, we got to keep moving. We P28. We don't play games. Like, you know, like he, having people like that by your side, the support, it just really, really, you know, gets you going. So that's what just keeps me motivated. It keeps me driven to keep going as days, days goes on. So, you know, I just really want to give a special thanks to those guys, those companies. Um, and that's pretty much it.